This is the question of uh, 2017, October, November, paper 1-1, one, one, and the question number is 9. It says that a car is moving at a constant speed in a straight line, with the engine providing a driving force uh, equal to the resistive force. Uh, when the engine is switched off, the car is brought to rest in a distance of uh, 100 meter by, a, by the resistive force. So that means, initially, the distance required for resting is S equal to 100 meters. And it may be assumed that F is constant during the acceleration. We then repeat the process uh, for the same car with the same initial speed but with a constant resistive force of 0.800F. So that means initially the resistive force was F, it now changes to 0.800F. So now we have to find how far the car will travel while decelerating. So we have to find S new. So it is to be noted that when a car is brought to rest by a certain force, the braking distance, the braking distance yes is given by u squared by twice a. U is the velocity before applying the brakes, and a is the uh, value of the retardation. So here we will have u squared is okay. This acceleration should be equal to two into f by mass. A should be equal to f by mass. So this will be m u square by twice f. So this is the initial condition. Now, after we change the force, we have s nu is equal to m u square. Since it says the same initial speed, we must have u. U should be same. And now it is 2 into F nu. And the new force is equal to M u square divided 2 into 0 0.800 F. So it is mathematically it becomes 1.25 M u square by twice F. So this 1 by 0 0.800 becomes 1.25. So now we have this mu square is equal to yes. So it's equal to 1, 2, 2, 2, 5 into yes. And since we have s is equal to 100 meter, it is 1.25 into 100 equal to 125 meters. So this is the answer and uh, going through the choices, choice number B is the correct answer.